Hello friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineered. Today we will see what is inside three-phase induction motor. Its rotor, stator, laminations, and leads etc. Also we will see, advantages and disadvantages of motor with squirrel cage type rotor over motor with wound type rotor. So let's get started. As we can see, this induction motor is in service. Now if we open the induction motor, this is how it looks from inside. Now let's start with identification of components. This is pulley mounted on rotor. This is base used to mount induction motor. This is terminal box, through which we can see three phase supply is given. This is main body of the motor. Here we can see fins on the motor body, which help in effective cooling of motor by increasing its outer surface area. This is front cover which houses bearing for smooth rotation of rotor. This is backside cover. This is nameplate with details such as horsepower rating etc. Now let's open the motor and look inside. Here in terminal box, we can see three points for three phase connection. As we trace these leads inside motor, we can see these leads are connected to three copper coils separately. These leads along with copper coils are properly insulated. There are mainly two parts of motor, one stator and other rotor. Now let's see stator. Stator is static part of the motor, means it is fixed on the body of motor. Stator is mainly made of core laminations, copper coils and insulation. If we look closely, core laminations can be seen clearly. These circular lines are core laminations. Single lamination looks like this. These laminations are stacked to form core. As we know, core is laminated to reduce any current loss. Let's talk about insulating material. We can see white color Nomex paper inside core slots. These Nomex papers act as insulator between core and copper coil. These are lead sleeves. And this is tie cord to hold copper coils and leads together. These copper coils are made of enamel coated copper wires, where enamel act as insulating material. Slot liner, slot separator, and wedges are also used as insulating material. Three coils are used in motor one for each phase which are fitted inside core slots. Each coil has certain number of turns. Each coil and each turn off coil is electrically insulated. These coils are given three phase supply through lead. These coils when given three phase supply, produces rotating magnetic field. Which causes rotor to rotate. Now let's see rotor of the motor. There are two types of rotor in induction motor. One is squirrel cage type rotor and other is wound type rotor also called as slip ring type rotor. This is squirrel cage type rotor. Same as in stator, squirrel case rotor is made of core laminations. This is how single lamination looks like. These laminations are stacked to form core of the rotor. As we can see aluminum bars are embedded in semi-closed slots of core. These bars are short-circuited with end rings on both sides of the rotor. Hence closed path for current is provided. This makes squirrel cage rotor robust. This is front cover and this back cover of motor. Now let's see advantages and disadvantages of motor with squirrel cage type rotor over motor with wound type rotor. One squirrel cage rotor has very low leakage reactance as compared that of wound type rotor. Two, squirrel cage rotor has low starting torque, high starting current and poor power factor as compared that of wound type rotor. Three, because of simple design and robustness, motors with squirrel cage type rotor are used predominantly in industry. So guys this is about inside parts of three phase induction motor. Hope you liked the video. If yes please hit the like button. Please comment. For more videos please subscribe. Thank you.